Around the world, libraries are intellectual sanctuaries where knowledge is found and ideas are exchanged. They are symbols of societal organization and archival reservoirs of historical and institutional memory. But not all libraries are the same. This is not a market or a canteen. In a nation of brilliant people, this is the headquarters of the National Library of Nigeria. Tasked with inculcating a national reading culture, this edifice stands as a monument of misplaced priorities. Three years ago, this building was marked by the Federal Capital Development Authority as uninhabitable for human beings. Today, it remains untouched and inhabited daily by demoralized library staff. When the person was forced to move out of this particular Librarian Shade Adepoju is one of the disenchanted staff. Ready to risk her job to expose the rot, she guides us through her daily pain. These are the staff restrooms. The National Library of Nigeria. Inside the actual here library, it is devastatingly gazette, similar. Gazette. From here, you can find books dated back 1800. Government gazette, official gazette, are kept here. Pictures dating from 50, 70 years ago are kept here. But we don't have adequate space to keep them. They're not, they're not meant to be packed together on the shelf like this. They're meant to be in a conducive air conditioned room they hear they have this we found there. that more than just reading materials are under threat in the corner of this room is an empty and used beverage bottle now wedged into the wall to block water leakages on the other side of me is a wall completely covered in green bacteria which is injurious to human health as we move forward into this corner of the room, we meet a civil servant named Mr. Abraham, who is an accountant with the National Library of Nigeria, who has a pretty good idea of how much money has passed through this institution over the years, and now knows all too well what can happen when funds are used to enrich political appointees who come and go, leaving behind civil servants like Mr. Abraham to work in squalor. For senior accountant Mbachi Henry, inhuman treatment has become a devastating norm. These are the drugs I'm taking. Look at them, they are all antibiotic. This is not, I've even taken some before this one. So, but these are the ones I'm taking presently. For two months now, I have been coughing, and the cough does not want to go. What is the cause of this thing? Is this particular place, this particular office? I have been in this office for three years. Nobody is coming to our rescue. Nobody is trying to relocate us. Respiratory doctor Kingsley Osagi says Mbachi's situation cannot be more grave. Needs to be further evaluated. There are a lot of diseases that can uh, occur from uh, the exposure, continuous exposure to asbestos. And this includes what we call pleural effusion. And of course, you can, from pleural effusion up to uh, cancer of that brain covering the lungs, which is called mesothelioma. My advice to him, first thing first, is to remove him from that environment. But what is the solution? We asked the minister responsible for the National Library. Well, uh, right now we are, the whole thing is on the table. We are working on the National Library issue, particularly the building, and to make sure they get back to real functional performance in our educational system. We're discussing, and very soon we arrive at something very worthwhile. Attempts to follow up with the minister concerning the specificity of remedial plans were denied. This was supposed to be the solution, the new National Library of Nigeria headquarters. Channels Television News has exclusively obtained contract details which reveal that the new National Library of Nigeria headquarters building was initially awarded to Reynolds Construction Company, RCC, through a consultant, Odelie International Associates, at an original cost of 8.5 billion naira, with an initial completion time frame of 21 months from the date of first mobilization to site on the 29th of April 2006. 
from 8.5 billion naira, the contract was upwardly revised to 17 billion naira before being revised upward again to 38.76 billion naira. It would finally be revised upward again to a staggering 78.37 billion naira. And nearly 12 years later, it stands hollow with 45% of the project completed. In every sector, the question of whether facilities will give Nigerians a chance to actualize their boundless potential arises. But few are as damaging as what we have found in the education sector, and the staff at this library agonizingly grasp for a solution. Arjuri Engelali, Channels Television News.